in chemistry concept now we are going to discuss about batteries and batteries are of two types basically primary and secondary and the primary batteries are those which are non chargeable that means the reactions occur only at once and after the over period of time battery becomes dead and that cannot be reused that means we cannot charge them non rechargeable batteries are primary batteries and the very famous one is a dry cell uh, or laclans cell which we use in our wall watches etc and tv remotes this is the actually structure that how does a dry cell look from inside okay anode the reaction anode is made up of zinc and zinc is oxidized into zinc 2 positive with release of two electrons and at cathode mno2 and ammonium clo uh, chloride are present and mno2 and ammonium chloride take one electron and get converted into a complex that is mno oh plus ammonia now in this reaction at cathode manganese is reduced from the plus 4 oxidation state to plus 3 oxidation state and ammonia produced in the reaction forms a complex with zinc 2 positive to give zn nh3 whole 4 2 positive okay and the cell reaction has a potential uh, of about 1.5 volt so this is actually all about a dry cell now there is a question that if we don't use dry cell for a longer time it becomes dead why because ammonia produced corrodes zinc okay that's why we need to we must use it another primary cell is a mercury cell which is also known as a button cell and we use them into wrist watches and low potential required uh, um, appliances and anode the zinc amalgam is getting get uh, get converts in, uh, is converted into zinc oxide with release of two electrons and at cathode the mercury oxide reacts with water and takes the those two electrons to produce mercury okay so it consists of zinc mercury amalgam as anode and a paste of mercury oxide and carbon as cathode and the electrolyte is is a paste of potassium hydroxide and zinc oxide and the best thing about this uh, battery or this cell is that it potential do not drop down it 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 keeps on working on its particular potential and suddenly when the reaction finishes it stops working it do not slow down like a uh, dry cell now secondary batteries are those which uh can be recharged after using that means these are rechargeable batteries a secondary cell after uh, use can be recharged by passing current through it in the opposite direction so that it can be used again and a good secondary cell can undergo a large number of discharging and charging cycles and the best example is lead storage battery which we used in which we use in our uh cars and inverters and what is the reaction taking place at anode that lead reacts with sulfate which is obtained from sulfuric acid and gets converted into lead sulfate at cathode lead oxide again reacts with sulfuric acid to again produce lead sulfate okay and overall reaction is that lead and lead oxides are reacting with sulfuric acid to produce lead sulfate so sulfuric acid is a important component of the cell and this is the reaction during discharging and when uh, we charge the cell the reaction proceeds in opposite direction and sulfuric acid lead oxide and lead are regenerated another secondary battery is nickel cadmium cell which looks like a dry cell uh, in appearance but actually it is a secondary battery a nickel cadmium cell which we use in our cameras we use rechargeable batteries there and those are nickel cadmium cell and the reaction taking place is that cadmium is reacting with a complex of nickel hydroxide like NiOH thrice to form cadmium oxide 
nickel oh2 and water and this is a secondary battery can be recharged again and again stay tuned for more videos on organic inorganic and physical chemistry